Now think back to the COVID pandemic. We certainly at that time heard a lot about teachers feeling burned out in their jobs. Well, a local superintendent is using her more than three decades of experience now to bring back the energy to local classrooms all across America. Dr. Marcy Cassidy is currently superintendent at Burlingame and she's our guest here at four today. Dr. Cassidy, good to see you here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm honored to be a guest. Well, I'm anxious to talk about your book, which we have right here. But before we do that, let's let's tell our viewers a little bit about your background because you're the superintendent down at Burlingame, but yes. you've got a wide array of experience in education. I really do. I will be starting my 36th year as an educator just this fall. August rolls around and I start to get the excited feeling um, and it doesn't change even after 36 years. I've been a teacher. I've been an instructional facilitator. I've been a principal assistant principal and now I'm so excited to, and honored to serve the, um, the community of Burlingame, Kansas. Yeah, and yes. so you have written a book, the ABC Roll Call, the yes. ABCs of Surviving and Thriving in Today's <laughs> School, and the whole purpose of this is to help kind of re-energize educators. Tell me about the, the uh, you know, the inspiration for this book. Well, I feel um, each year as I start a new school year, I have to really help myself to um, take care of myself and to be as strong as I can in the classroom as an administrator for my staff, for my students and my community. So I just really wanted to leave a legacy as I am, you know, entering the superintendency and I have finished my terminal degree here. Um, I wanted to put together all of the strategies that I've used over the years that mm -hmm. have really helped me to cope and survive. Um, I've uh, coined the book to be similar to a survival reality show. Um, you know, we're not thrown into a pit of snakes every day, but sure. some days it feels like it, David. Yeah. So um, we have to be purposeful, I guess, is what I wanted to say. And so this book just really is inclusive, all the things that have helped me so much. You use a little humor, I understand, too, in yes, the book. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, that I can thank my dad for um, my humor um, and just having that skill. But I absolutely do. Um, I do transition from one section of the book to another with funny stories that have happened to me throughout my career. The editors from my publisher even asked um, how I made those stories up and mm -hmm. I had to assure them that they're all, they all happened, they're all reality. Sure, you know, like I said, we heard so much in, back in the COVID pandemic, especially about yes. educators feeling burned out. You still hear that today. What do you attribute that to? Um, I, I think, oh, COVID has become kind of cliche, I suppose, and I don't, I'm just not a person who looks to place blame in places. Mm -hmm. No matter what challenges we find, it's really our choice to choose positive or choose negative. So no matter how challenging, um, if you look for the positive, you're gonna find it. But if you look for the negative, you're gonna find that too. So um, I really try to train my, my students, my staff that, um, we are going to have challenges and, and tribulations, but we just have to rise to the occasion. I know in your book you use uh, three highlight areas, yes. three strategies, yes. those being academics, behavior strategies, and character. Tell me a little bit about that and how that interplays into the, uh, the conversation here. You bet. Um, I firmly believe that as educators, we are now really responsible for the whole child, which includes academics, behavioral and emotional skills, and then that social emotional character mm -hmm. piece. So in the academics, this book is filled with things that teachers and administrators can take right back to their classrooms and their buildings, implement immediately. They're gonna actively engage them in the learning process. I think with COVID, we learned that virtual learning is really a challenge. Um, our kids are used to video games and instant gratification. Oh, yeah. They've gotta be up, they've gotta be moving, or they've gotta have opportunities to respond to education. But that keeps the teacher happier too. They're active, they're busy, their day flies by. Sure. For and they, they've had to adapt too and, and, and how they educate over the absolutely, last several years. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And that keeps evolving. We can't just become stagnant. Sure. Behaviorally, I, I have a very positive and proactive approach. Again, look for the positive and you'll find it. So we really recognize and celebrate the things that are going well and just really try to build our community. Social emotional, it's just so important that we learn how to not only take care of our students, but a lot of our students who have experienced trauma um, have, um, we have secondary trauma sure. because of that. And so we have to take care of ourselves as well. So the book has skills for both student and staff okay. well-being activities. Got about 15 seconds. How can sure. folks find your book? Oh, they can find this book on Amazon. And okay. um, they can also find it at barnesandnoble.com and Target as well. There it is. I would love to come talk at people's schools if okay. they would like, and I'll bring the book right with me. All right, so. roll call the ABCs of surviving and thriving in today's schools. Dr. Marcy Cassidy, thanks for being here. Oh, and good luck with the new school year. Thank and you. Always excited. Right. Thank you so much for good having to, me. Good to see you.